So after the uh, offering of the Anukut, Giriraj Govardhan Maharaj enjoyed the offering of the uh, all of the Brajabhasis. And all returned to their homes. All returned. All returned to their with homes. With Krishna. With Krishna. Very happy. Yes. And Krishna told them, Oh, have you seen an Indra event? Never you have seen. But you saw the world. So then, Lord Indra, he was observing all of this, and actually he became very disturbed and very upset that he was not being given these sacrificial offerings. So he decided that he was going to retaliate against the bridge bhasis. And uh, Indra uh, ordered his very powerful cloud, the Samvartaka cloud, to come which is generally used at the time of devastation. Why he thought? And he became angry. What he told? You remember? You, you don't remember what Indra told to Krishna? I will see this boy. Where is Mahabharata? What Indra told? Oh, this wicked boy. He is quite ignorant and following his words, all gops and gopis have become bewildered. I will punish them with this war. I will do so much things that anybody in Prajabhasi, they will not be shaped. So I am telling like this. And he ordered all Sambartaks. You should rent. Huh? You should what? So that there should be no any shine of Brajabhasis here. No sign. Govardhan should also be smashed into pieces. And this boy should be punished so much. And all Brajabhasis should put to death. So much water should come there. That everywhere. Only flawed, 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 nothing else. And then? And then this Sambhartaka cloud began to rain down, pouring uh, massive amounts of, of rain water, like oceans of water, down on Giriraj Govardhan and uh, on all the bridge buses. And also lightning and thunderbolts. What about this region? At that time? Karthik Mantha. At that time, very cool in India. So, cool and Ritu. And first began so much air, wind with water, and so much cold. And then all began to. Then the bridge bhasis began to approach Krishna. There was no place to set them. Their houses were ruined. Everything. As much to pieces. Rainwater, soap. And like pillars. Like the eggs of elephants. <laughs> And so many thunderbolts and all Brajbasis or tell the heart have been done. Only by this innocent boy he told and we followed. Nanda Baba followed and we followed Upananda told. So we will have to test the result. They blame, that, eh? they blame Nanda Baba and Krishna. Yes. That, that we have done blunder. 
Now where to go, what to do? But there was so much water, they cannot go here and there. And they quickly went to Krishna. If you have done like this, they have only obeyed. Yes. Then he used to tell Govardhan Giriraj that he should save us now. Oh, quickly Krishna answered. You should bring your all utensils, everything on block cards. Block cards should come. With all your kaul, all your children, go, go be happy. All persons also. And quickly they came, and quickly, in a second, anyone could not see that how f firstly Krishna took us on his finger. Then became a very deep, very, very deep feet. Hmm? Gopardhan was seven miles high and seven miles also deep, and seven. 14 miles, very high. So when he took, that became a very peak, like peak. But no matter, there, if animal dig only 14, 15 yards down, water may But when he took Govardhan, very easily, like a lotus flower like this, Nothing. <laughs> and he called all Brajavasi, all cows. <coughs> Especially Krishna was at the age of seven. So gopis were not married. No. All gopis. Vishvanu Nandani, Radhai, Lalite, Vishakha, Chitra, Champaklata, Tun, Vidya, Hindu, Lekhen, all came. And Krishna was taking this. All gop gopis, the friends become so worried. How Krishna alone can bear the weight of Giraj over them? They quickly took their dandas, sticks, and oh, oh, don't worry, my kanaya. Oh, you should take rest, we are taking. <laughs> but, <coughs> Radhike and all other gopis were so much worried. They get their sight under Govardhan. Govardhan, we will punish you. And you should be on all eyes glance. Don't have any weight on Krishna. So who was lifting that Gora, Giriraj Govardhan? Actually, not Krishna. How power always becomes in left side. So left hand. And in left side, this, if that is not Krishna. If he has taken Giriraj Govardhan in right, then we should understand that Krishna has taken, lifted Giriraj Govardhan. But Krishna never. Hmm? To show this, he did. And Srimati Radhika. Power is Radhika. Krishna is not power. So Krishna is manifested with power. He has all powers. So he thought like that at, at once Srimati Radhika took Govardhan. First Srimati Radhika, what is Govardhan? Whole world, lakhs and lakhs world. On his way she can take. So, this is the majestic power of Srimati Radhika. Without Radhika power, Krishna is like zero. Nothing like Nirvishesh Brahma. Nothing to do pranam. Who will do pranam? Anyone is not there. Nothing to pranam. So Radhika lifted it. They were first chance. They came together in front of Krishna. This was the main reason that Krishna lifted that all Govardhan Bhashi Gops will not tell any anything to their daughters. And they will quickly come to me and for seven days we will together. That is why. So first time 
all the gopis, in a little, little Kishori gopi, not Kishori at that time, at this age of six, half, five, like this, all. Lalita was only at the age of Krishna, and all were some, somewhat raised. And all seven days, Indra began to throw hell so much, thunderbolt, and he wanted to piece, uh, to smash Giridharaj Govardhan into pieces, pieces. But it has been told in prayer. But Saprista Hastam Bujasauka Marje Sukhan Bhote Rati Bhumi Britte Mahendra Bajja Hati Mapyajanan Gobar Dhanome Dishatam of Hisdom or Gobar Dhanome Dishatam of Hisdom. Govardhano me Dishatam Govardhano me Dishatam Dishatam Oh Giraj Govardhan When Krishna lifted you on your finger Oh you became so happy You are realizing so much happiness That even Indra was throwing his standard bowls so much. But what he was thinking? Oh, like that. Very happy. Like this. Nothing like that. Jatraiva go, Jatraiva Krishna, Vishabhanu Putra, Danam Grihitum, Kalaham Vite, Shute Spiha Jatra, Mahatta Tahasi, Govardhano Me. Krishna sometimes used to block their ways where in Dan Ghati and quarrels between gopis and Krishna. Krishna wanted that you should give some tax here. And they used to tell that uh, why tax? Oh, this place is mine. Then gopis and especially Lalita you have to tell, is this property of your father or grandfather or grand grandfather from where you collected? <laughs> so this is not your property. Oh, this is my property. How this is your property? Because this all property is of Vrindavan and she is my wife. <laughs> oh, they began to clap that you are so liar and cheater. Vrinda cannot uh, marry you because you are black. In Braja, any, any girl does not want or any parents to give you marriage their daughters. So now you are thinking that all girls are my wife. So Brinda, you think that he is your wife. We are calling just now. They called Brinda. In front of Krishna and all gopis were there. They asked Brinda, Oh, have you married this black person? Black boy? No, no, I don't know him. Who is he? <laughs> never, never I cannot put a mistake like this. <laughs> she is like, uh, she wants that, uh, tells that all are my wives here. But no one wants to marry her. So I am not his wife. Then they began to clap. Oh. <laughs> but this was so... Clever. <laughs> Tricky and clever. No, no, no. Really, she is my wife. And this is not property. You will have to give. Then they gave something, lot, little, curd, makkhan, and everything to Krishna. One day, like this. Oh, Krishna used to do daily like this. We should give a lesson to him. One day they caught all. Lalita Vishakha. First they catch hold of Madhumangal and this tiki was tightened in, in the trees, branches and all and they began to do 
All were so much afraid. They told that uh, you should promise that never we will do like that. But they were told that uh, I am promising I will never do. I, I, I will have no friendship with that black person. <laughs> and thus, thus, all the gopis to Krishna and forcibly they put a lahanga to Krishna and Chundari from out this deer and his cuts hairs were so so they do like choti and gave yashandu and like a lady and they gave some vessels of pots of yoga and Lalita gave him and Krishna was covered with took bath with and all gopis were clapping we will do again like this Krishna said I will not do then you should beg pardon in the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika then Krishna did oh Radhika you should forgive me so this is in Govardhan Govardhan is Sakhi evidence so Govardhan should be placed to us that we can realize this very sweet pastimes of Go, Gopi, Gavi, Govasari, everything. I think Govardhan will hear our praise, praying, and he will sprinkle. After seven days, Indra become saw that go anyone and see that there are there any anyone saved from this. He went there and saw. Uh, what elephant? Airavat came. And he saw that, uh, oh, all are saved. Not a, even a leaf of tree has been dropped from his tree, branches. And he went to Indra and told that, oh, brother, all are so happy. No, anything is not damaged. Then he thought, who is he? Actually, he is Parabrahma. Our Lord, then he knew that, oh, he is certainly our Lord. That he went to Surabhi. We have done puja to that Surabhi, the mother of all cows. Where? Not on Golo Bindavan. Some manifestation of that, that Surabhi in this world, in Golo. One Golok there, one Lok here. Like one Vrindavan here, like Vrindavan there. And they, Indra began to apologize and tell that, Oh Mother, set me. Otherwise Krishna will ruin us. You should come with me. And uh, Krishna ko prasanna karo. Please Krishna. Then she came. And water from Ganges, water from there, so much milk and ghee and everything. What we did of shake here, she came and she came to Krishna. Oh Krishna, oh Indri is my life son. So you should forgive. For sake of to please Surabhi, Krishna, somewhat not uh, wanting but even he forgave. And Indra kept Krishna name Govinda. Govinda Deva ki. I am not Govinda. I am not Govardhan. I have no connection with these cows. I have false ego. That I am Lord of all. But actually, Giriraj Govardhan, Krishna is. Gopal is everything. He is supreme personality of all. So he is Govinda. He uh, supports and nourishes all Gop, Gopi, Gabi, Gobatsa and all Gopi Mandal, Golok. And, and after that, they return to their places. Gaur Brahma. <laughs> 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 it may be that Indra began to um, 
Shankar prayed to Chakra that you should save, otherwise all gop gopi and everything will be finished. So Chakra came and seeing Chakra on the seventh day on this number, oh, in the quickly ran away from there. And oh, Chakra, then he may be that Narayan or more than that. Us. What is the time now? Oh, then seven. Then drama should be done. And from today again, I may speak on Srimad Bhagavad. I wanted to do more. But any, anyhow, it was so good. And if anyone has come here, join this, and he has participated anyway. Giraj Govardhan will be so merciful to sprinkle the jugal love and affection. Then, uh, any kirtan? And you should try to. Oh, Matukiya? Asha. Give, give, give. Where is Mina? Where is Mina? The paper's there. You see Mina's here. Where is Mina? Mina's here. Come on here. Can you sing? No? Oh, that should be. Oh, All Indians, devotees, should follow. Yes, sir. Oh, can you sing? Can you play this? Come on, come on, come on. Let's get this, get this, get this.
so much time for you both. It's a pleasure. What's your name? Asha. 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 Asha Lata Ki. Jai. Or Meena Devi Ki. Jai. Yes. Your drama is in. Oh. Quickly, quickly. Uh, uh, begin. Uh, five. Asha Lata. Creeper. Krishna is tree. And Asha is creeper. What Asha? What? No, no, not French. Creeper. What? When I will be a creeper to climb and to roam that Krishna tree, this desire. Hare Krishna. Yes, at least one round is okay. I think that this will be very quickly. Don't go smart. How to clean it? Much better. Cut it. Yeah, that's not a good way to do it. Are you better to cut it? To buy it, it's a good way. ऐसे उनको मोल्ड कर देना है जो उस सब लोग में अतः तुम अभी मत खाओ आप कुछ ना उनको कर दो कुछ दूर के बाद ना तुम अपने बेटे को अपने शादी को सब बहुत जल्दी कर ऐसा कर सकेगी जब तू पकाएगी तो मैं खाऊंगा अभी नहीं खाऊंगा वो भी नहीं खाएगा अब तू सुख होकर के ये सब छोड़ देगी ना और कुछ ना किया बस तुम्हारे हाथ पकाएगी जो कुछ पकाएगी साग भाजी मैं सब ये तुमको अपनी प्यारी बेटी बना लेंगे अभी भी है अभी तुमको थोड़ा सर और मैं तुमको छोडूंगा नहीं तुम्हारे हरी भरता है ना अपने पॉकेट में तो तो वो मेरी बेहन मेरी बेटी बन गई वो मेरा बेटा बन गया तो वैसे तू तू पहले पहले है एल्डर तू है और वो छोटा है अब हमारा बात निष्पल नहीं जाती।
So thank you for the opportunity to play for the Guru Day. I appreciate it so much. I'm on Vishnu Pada, Krishna Prasad, Guru Day, Shanti Bhakti, Dr. Swami, Dr. Nani. Namaste, Sadhu Sadhu Devi, Mandar, Mandar, Namaste, Shasana, Namaste, Chaiva, Shasana. sitting in the midst of his bhaktas. Nakai, Haridas, you are my dear most servitors. I have a request of you. Go to every man in the town. Walk from door to door and tell them about Sri Krishna who is the life of everyone. Please, don't distinguish between the rich, the poor, the ignorant or the foolish, high or low, or Brahmin or Sudra. I want you to go and save them all. Yes, my lord. Haridas and Nittai were selected for the purpose of proclaiming Sri Krishna for very good reasons. They were aesthetics and incomparably pious, and they had acquired the power of imparting the Holy Spirit. Nittai and Haridas accepted the task with due humility. The duty was that he, they were to impose upon them was to start early in the morning to travel from door to door, deliver the message, and then return at home at noon. In Nadia, the simple message proclaimed by Haridas and Nittai produced wonderful effects. Most men accepted, and it was because they were backed by the force which Messiahs carry with them. Many did not. In fact, a few received the bearers of the message with ridicule and even insults.
Hello, my dear friend. Sri Krishna employs you to come back to the spiritual world. He is your dear most friend, your dear most beloved, and you can love him through the process of Harinam. So please chant with us. Will you chant with us, dear brother? You ignorant, foolish man, be gone! Get away! <laughs> Leave my house! <laughs> My dear Haridas, what kind of command is this? To proclaim Sri Krishna to people who are ignorant and foolish and who bear us ill will. I have no doubt in the mission of my Lord. I have no doubt that he is there to save all the souls. If he desires, he can make our mission more palatable to the people. I know. Let us proclaim Sri Krishna to Jagai and Madai. Jagai and Madai? <coughs> oh my Lord, damn of all people! I think they are the best candidates because they are not only the most powerful men in the city, but they are also the most sinful of wretches. And if the Lord could get them to accept Sri Krishna, then that would be a miracle that everyone can see. And then the mercy of my Lord Nimai will be known to everyone. Haridas, please let us go. Jagai and Madai were two Brahmin youths who were city chieftains of Nadia <clears throat> under the Chan Kazi. But in reality, they were absolute masters of the lives and the property of the citizens. After gathering a large band of scoundrels, they used the power atrociously. They treated the citizens in a manner no human should be treated. Under the influence of alcohol, they robbed and raped the people mercilessly sparing neither man or woman. They were the greatest sinners of their time. Hare Krishna, 
My dear brothers, please chant with us. Come. How dare you cheaters come here? Speaking this nonsense? Feed now and live. But my dear brothers, <laughs> love for Nittai, for his fellow beings, knew, knew, knew no bounds. And for those who were fallen, he felt the most profound pity. His notion was that Jagai and Madai, in spite of their worldly prosperity, were the most miserable of sinners. For Nittai, the afterworld, and the suffering of sinners, there were a stern reality. He knew that the brothers would suffer terribly hereafter. The condition of these two brothers, therefore, called for his earnest consideration. But he was further helped in his deep resolution of converting the brothers by motives of policy. Namely, in order that these two men, so well known in the country and so dreaded by the people, might bear witness to the reality of the avatar Sri Gauranga. It happened, however, that the two brothers pitched their tents in the corner of town where the Lord lived. This did not stop the kirtans, of course. One night, the drunken brothers came upon a kirtan, being attracted to the sound, but finding no entrance, entrance <clears throat> they danced and drank until the early morning. As the Lord and his devotees left the building, the brothers approached the group <clears throat> and asking him what this, his theatrical group was singing about. The Lord ignored him and left. Nittai and Haridas, seeing this, were, were disappointed, having hoped that when the Lord saw them, he would open their hearts. <coughs> Vishnu's songs, playing on musical instruments, and dancing like madmen. 
When I told them to stop, they began to chant even louder, completely ignoring you. That's so. Well then today, we shall exterminate those Vaishnava pests. Let's go! <laughs> My dear friends, we again come to implore you. We have not come to hurt you or to be hurt in return, but to tell you that your first duty is to worship your loving master, Sri Krishna. I am just only a pure devotee. Please, oh! Oh, joy! Uh, they're killing me, Todd! Stop! My brother, we have gained nothing by killing this devotee. They're killing me, They're killing me, They are oh, killing me, Todd! What is going on? Ashamed of committing an assault upon an unarmed man, a stranger, a devotee, who has sworn never to hold a lethal weapon? Did he not come here to serve you? Did he hurt you? You are accumulating sins incessantly upon your head, and you do not seem to be getting tired of it. Did you not think the day of reckoning would come, in which you would have to make full account of your actions? Well, let me tell you, that day has come! Chagai and Marai, prepare to receive your due punishment! Chakra! 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 Mercy, my lord! Please have mercy on me! I see that it is a slight wound that has made you react like that. But I assure you that it was little more than accident. But I probably never meant to hurt me, but probably acted by some sudden impulse. And I assure you, my lord, I do not feel even the slightest pain. My dear lord, I see, I see that you deserve to give them punishment. But my dear lord, in this incarnation, you are not meant to bring your chakra. You are meant to save all the fallen souls by your tears, by your sympathy, and by chanting the holy name in great ecstasy. You have nothing to do with your fire disc in this incarnation. But if you kill them, my dear Lord, then whom will you save? My dear Lord, you know what is best. But you cannot kill both of them, for Jagai, he saved my life. Jagai saved your life? Explain. Yes, my lord. When Mudai was going to pick up another rock to hit me, Jagai restrained him and also rebuked him for his cowardly conduct. <laughs> Jagai. You have saved the life of my Nitai, and for this, I am eternally grateful to you. You deserve a reward from me, and so here it is. Let me embrace you. <laughs> mercy, Lord, mercy! Your case is not so simple as you may think, Marai. <laughs> my Lord, we are all your children. I am also one of your children. Therefore, you cannot cast me away. You, a son of God, 
Did you ever recognize it? Why then did you maltreat your brothers? You, who thought you were the Lord of all. You, before whom men begged with folded hands and knees, now kneel before me as a worshiper, a devotee in the presence of this crowd of people? You should be ashamed. What? You, the best dressed man in town, now roll with your fine robes in the dust, weeping as helplessly as those whom you made to weep before you. Are you not ashamed? Blinded by material prosperity, you crushed out all the fine sentiments given to you by a merciful God, so that you may be a, he a help to your fellow man. But no, you trampled the weak, the poor, the innocent. And now you claim your right as the child of the same father who created all? Have you no shame left? Oh, Lord, I see I am finished. Yet somehow, all hope has not deserted me. Am I to be abandoned thus forevermore? My Lord, I do not ask for forgiveness, nor am I afraid of punishment. Let it come and I shall welcome it. Only tell me, is there any way, any penance by which I can, at a future time, obtain your lotus feet? Well. Please tell me the way if there is one. Then, then you may cast me off. You come to that, I can't help you. You have offended the lotus feet of Sri Padvichananda. If you can, by any means, receive his mercy, then there is some hope for you. Mercy, oh Lord, mercy! Do not forgive him too readily, thus making him take his sins lightly. Let me implore your mercy for him on his behalf. He's a poor wretch. <laughs> <laughs> My dear Lord, you are the supreme controller. You are the supreme truth. And it is you who took mercy on your child, Madai. And it is you who desires to save him through me always giving credit to your devotees. Let thy will be done. If it is through me that he is to be saved, then I say to you, my Lord, I forgive him. Not only do I forgive him, but I forgive him unconditionally. Nay, let me tell you how I feel. Let the heavens and the earth, all these dwellers, take witness. I not only forgive Madai unconditionally, but I grant over to him all the pious merit that I may have obtained through all the good acts that I have performed throughout the entire course of my whole existence. My dear Madai, come, come to my bosom, and let the whole world see that there is no
just to think that this is not drama. So, from today, if anyone taking wine or any kinds of smoking, drinking, you should give up. Come today. Then surely the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu and Haridas Thakur will come and by their mercies Nityananda Prabhu will be there. Nimai, that is Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will be very merciful to you. If anyone doing offenses to the Lord's feet of devotees, Mahaprabhu cannot do anything. But if Haridas Thakur will be so pleased and he will request Nityananda Prabhu and then Nityananda Prabhu will be mercifully and when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will know the will of Nityananda Prabhu, all will be excluded and all have Krishna Prem. So I am requesting all those who are not following all these principles, you should try to very strongly don't take my I have heard from the body. So many disciples of Swamiji, lacking of association. Now they are returning to the same point. Now they are taking drops, wines, becoming more lusty, and so many bad qualities in them. So, I have come ordered by Swamiji, Bhaktivedanta Swamiji, to remind you. And this play, not play, only to remind you all. Especially those who are playing this drama from today. Be pure as Nityananda Prabhu wanted. Then, if any effect will come, if anyone teaching anything to the body, but if he is not pure, not qualified, his teachings will be very, eh? no effect. It will be for temporary effects. So the gurus who are not qualified to teach, and if they are teaching anything, don't take wine, don't take drugs, don't cheat anyone. They can listen for a moment, momentary results. But if you will be like that, yourself, not taking wine, no anything, no smoking, no drugs, no yajalasam, then all the devotees are bound to all this. So my request is that we should again come in the same uh, time eh? as Swamiji came here. You should think that Swamiji is here. And you should again be inspired like same time. So he has sent me to see or they are following me or not. So when I will return, what I will tell? <laughs> so if you are promising like that, then I will go and meet him and tell, oh, I am happy, I am satisfied. All are following you and always remembering, always keeping you in your heart and your works. Go, Prima. So you should do Kirtan all. And Jagai Madai, after that, he told that from now we will not do anything wrong. We are taking promise for this. And they began to wash the ghat, bank of the river. And the ladies who were not going there in fear of Jagai Madai, Jagadananda and Madhavananda, when they heard that, oh, they have been changed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu and Haridas. Now again they began to see him 
and to take bath on Nagariya Ghat where Jagai Madhai was praying. And they were cleaning. How cleaning? Manam, pruning the Ghat, clearing the Ghat. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. No cold? No, inside no. When I'm going outside, uh, How are Shamala? You are okay? Yes. 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 What friend of him? Very nice. Very good. 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 I don't know. I do not know yet. Why? Ticket. Ticket wala. Ticket wala ni? Viva. Viva is sorting Ticket wala ni? Mm. Ticket? Not yet. Maybe Why? today. Maybe. Ah. Mm. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you always smart, then I will. <laughs> well, I think it's the other way around. <laughs> I'll go in the bubble. Okay? But no drama. No drama. No. Uh, yeah. We will be, we, we will be Shankar Some, yeah. or anything. After one or two days. Or you should come. One drama, yeah. You can take him also in Romania. He'll be very good. He can't do anything. He can do anything. You should make him any part. Okay. Can you play drama? Yes. Very try. Okay. <laughs> Very good, very good, Mark. Really nice. Very good. Very strong. Yes, Mark. Yes, Mark. Yes, Mark. Yes, Mark. Yes, Mark. Yes, Mark. Yes, Yes, Mark. 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 Yes, you, you prefer I want it from you like this. Okay. Very small. All right. Very small. Very small. Smaller than this. Okay. Otherwise, <laughs> the father and mothers will be. Angry. Okay. Open. Tomorrow morning I'll be like this. Yes, he has to be open. Yes, open. Yes, it's not open. Like Come on. Open. Anyway, that's beautiful. Come on. Come on. It's a nice flower. <laughs> <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna, then Hare Ram, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama. Mm. More loudly, that all can hear. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. When Hare you'll, Krishna, Hare Krishna. When you'll be alone, yes. go to forest, deep forest. Yes. And grasses. Yes. And call them. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, to all that all Yes. Like Hare Dartha. Yes. Mm. And all will be living. Very loud, yeah. All, all, be, all, they all get benefit. All grasses, trees, creepers, they get birds, benefit, yeah. animals, they can eat. Don't take yes, your time to join us. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. We are, we are all our chanting. Hare Rama. <laughs> especially night. When I'm alone. Especially night in deep night. forest. Yeah. That when are all our calm. Very loud. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Oh, no flowers now. Yeah. Yeah. So many flowers were there. <laughs> like uh, smiling, but no. <laughs> now you? Where they have gone? For you? <laughs> the most beautiful flower. <laughs> How is Samla? I'm writing to um, my husband and Kalia Daman about your ecstatic preaching, Buddha. Kalia Daman is in Vrindavan? Yes, and he's going to Copenhagen in July 14th to, to collect so that he can continue harmonies. Very good, very good. Okay. What's your name, please? It's a girl. Very good. You are okay? Yes. Yeah. I want that my all daughters should be very qualified like me. Oh. She wants to see you here. Yes. Now she can come. Did you not come? She wants to see you. She wants to see him, or do you want to see him? <laughs> no, really. Ah, tricky. Very, no, 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 very no. Drudge-like, huh? I know. She's been living in Brudge with you so long, she's learning all the crooked ways. I you know. <laughs> You're the trickster. You taught everybody. Well, she's you the one who's of all. No, no, you. She's <laughs> teaching everyone all the <laughs> things. She's the trickster. Even now, I tell her something yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I do. Very bold. Oh, 
Kapatakuti Nati. Kapatta means duplicity. And Kuti Nati? Both. Diplomacy. Diplomacy? No. Kuti and Nati. Bengali can understand this. Don't do ku. Ku means bad things, unwanted things. Don't do. Ku. Ku means all kinds of bad things. Society, drinking, bad society, drinking, making merry, to associate with Vishais who have no faith in Bhakti not serving Krishna and his associates, telling lies, no? all are ku. No? And na, na means not, like, which is prohibited in Shastra not to do. Not to do. And you are doing all this, bad thing. No? So, you should give up. Here he is telling you, what is duplicity? Duplicity kapatta? What is duplicity? He is telling that bhakti sadhak are of three kinds. Understanding? Very deeply you should try to understand and follow. Otherwise, lakhs and lakhs births you cannot do anything by only chanting. And if you are not following, that is why Raghunath Das is, Swami is giving his association by these teachings. So you should think that we are associating with Raghunath Das Goswami. And he is giving some uh, teachings, so we should follow. So sadhaka are of three kinds. Swanistha, Parinishthit, and Swanista <coughs> that those who are in the beginning following and they want to practice Bhakti Yoga, Shamadam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Shamadam, Padashivanam, Archanam, Bandhanam, Dasya Shakhat Madhvedan, nine kinds of Bhakti they are following. But there are some defects in them, duplicity in three. What? Swanistha. They are following bhakti. Uh, but uh, those who are following bhakti, but vidhi nished avarnasam dharma. What is vidhi? Means rules and regulations. And also what is not to do, prohibited. They have nothing to do with these things. Nothing. They can only do Radha, Krishna, conjugal bhajan. If anything of Arnasham is help, coming in that, no harm. But they don't look and see all these rules and regulations to be followed or not to be followed. Only totally following Rupa Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswamis or Shivash Acharya and Grihastha Bhakta like at the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Or don't disturb anyone. Keep it. Please keep it. After class you can do. Otherwise all work will come. So, that all this. They have never to care for that.
where we are all doing following or not following, but totally following one ended Ananda Rupena, Radha and Krishna, Braja Shiva. Second are Parinishthita, that they are punished, who are following bhakti, shamanam kirtanam, but they also follow varnasam dharma, rule regulation and what not to be uh, followed, they are not following them and what to follow in varnasam they are following. But only these are uh, helpful or, or favorable. No? Not all rule, dress, regulations and everything. No? Only they will follow which are favorable for Brajabhakti. They are parinisti. Both are grihastha bhakta in family life. Married life, both. And <coughs> third is parinishthita, uh, nirapeksha. Nirapeksha means they have given up their worldly life, totally. In the line of Ru, Raghunath, Adji, Goswami. Renounce order, not renounce order, but Brahmachari, but no family life. And they have totally given up householder life, any asham or any mat or any fair, they are doing bhajan, totally. But in them, there may be some duplicity. It may be that they don't know, but anyhow, there is some duplicity. What duplicity may be there, he is telling. <coughs> First, Swanista. What is the definition of Swanista? As you just said. Huh? I told. Swanista. Don't say Swanista is one who is following the nine angles of Bhakti Shramdan Kirtan, Krishna's mind and etc. But um, when it comes to Vanashram, he, the rules and regulations of Vanashram, he, he does not care for them at all, but he's one pointed towards um, Raj Bhakti or Rupa Mukhi So first he is telling, now you can tell what I told. Rambija Prabhu, Rambija Manu. Quickly, quickly, what I told. Who can tell? Can you tell? You should ask me a question. And in the meantime, you will be prepared. <laughs> Where is? Oh, what I told. You must explain. What is a Swanista Sadak? So the Swanista Sadak, he is uh, doing bhajan, following Shramanam Kirtanam, the Shmusmanam, the Angus of Bhakti. And his uh, all endeavors are to cultivate the mood of unalloyed service, Aikantik Bhakti, to Radha Krishna in Braj. And so he never thinks about the rules and regulations of our national dharma. He has no consideration for them. But he will not go opposite to that. Any lady devotees among? We can tell. No, then I become hopeless. You should tell. What everyone is saying, he's saying. Uh, again, you should repeat. Kantiki <laughs> Bhakti, meaning only doing his Raganuga Rupanuga Bhajan. No, 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 I'm not telling that. Raganuga Rupanuga, not, but what I told, Swanishta, what is the meaning? Swanishta means 
a Kantiki Bhakti, you're doing all Navada Bhakti, and you're not caring for dharma or atharma, but you won't go against dharma. But your focus is only on Radha Krishna and Raj. Okay? <laughs> now we will see very carefully, because among us, it may be like Swanishta. Hmm? They, the Swanishta Sadhak, they may tell that we are practicing that kind of work. And they may be engaged in sense gratifications. How? You are doing bhakti, but inwardly engage their senses in all other things. Only the face, the claws, Tulsi Mala, Tealer, is like Swanistha, but not actually found. Or they will tell that we are doing but always engaged in sense gratifications. They do not engage themselves in the service of Nishkapat Bhakti. They never engage themselves in the service of those who are high classes of Vaishnava, those who have nothing to do with duplicity above them. <laughs> they, 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 they don't have any relationship and they don't serve sincere and advanced devotees. <laughs> They will only tell that, oh, whether he has been initiated by my Gurudev or by in, with me or any this uh, God brother of me. In broad sense, we love this. Anyone told me? that uh, you are not in his school. I told him that why I am not in his school? What are the rules and regulations that I will adopt then I will be a school, in family of a school. I want to know the rules and regulations. <laughs> and I want to totally surrender. So what are these rules and regulations? <laughs> oh, it's we is going have that uh, one should chant 16, at least 16 uh, wow. rounds. I told that I chant 64. <laughs> <laughs> then they told Then I told the say anything more? Oh, ye, we should follow four basic principles. What are these? That not toxications. You should treat all the ladies like mother, like sister. Oh, I do this. Totally, from beginning, I am, from my birth, I am doing this. And, no yes, eh? no gambling. oh, no gambling. Never, I, I don't remember that in my, so many previous lives. <laughs> I don't. No meat and no hinsa. Oh, I have never smelled of or seen all these things. Never, never. Then I may be, then I know there is something. <laughs> you got something. 
No wine and cigarette and everything. Oh, no. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Uh, also, I tell that uh, from 45, 46, I am chanting. And from beginning, like this. Now, I some, sometimes fall to chant 64, but at that time, I am so punctual. Sometimes, three lakhs also I have done in my before life. But now, due to preaching, writing, and all doing so many things, I cannot. But on a Kasi, I try to do more. So I'm chanting from them. May I be a member of them? Oh, bona fide guru should be there. Oh, do you think that my Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Pratyan Kesho Goswami Maharaj, was bona fide guru or not? Yes, he was bona fide guru. Then why you are not? then I will have to give up my Gurudev initiation. I should be your disciple or any disciples of Eskon who may fall. I should take initiation from them. Then you will admit me like Eskon or what are the rules as well? I want to. Oh, I will think. <laughs> so these are Kapatata. You you should not think like this. Anyone who has surrendered to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda Prabhu or any of line and he chanting, so observing, no offense, no duplicity or anything. He may be in the line of Shyamananda Prabhu, Narottam Thakur, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, he may be in the line of any of <coughs> no harm. But we should have to think whether he is Sahajiyar or not. He should be qualified guru. Whether he is disciple of Swamiji, whether he is disciple of Pujapar Siddhar Maharaj, Shakti Maharaj, or Guru Maharaj, or anyone, I can admit any those who are sis of sis of Swamiji, no harm. If they are not duplicitous, or they are above, uh, but no doing offenses, not criticizing. If, what to speak of the disciples of Swamiji, of Swamiji, even fourth generation is there, I will do pranam to them. If they are so qualified, chanting in this way, knowing all the established truths, then they are. So I request you to be like that. Don't have any line, no wall. We are also thinking that we are in same family of God, Chandra family, Nitai family, Narottam family, Ru family. Oh, I ask him also, do you think that Rupa Goswami is in his cone or not? And Narad Goswami? Oh, he began to do it. He will have to think whether Rupa Goswami is in his cone or not. But I know, I have a strong belief that Narad Goswami, Brahma, all are in his cone. So don't confused in this. Anyone who is the line of Chaitanya Mahapurhu group Goswami doing bhajan like this. So, I don't want to criticize anything. I want to know that you should know the principles that who is Goswami actually. Who are very strongly have belief in Mahaprabhu chanting. Whether he is not <coughs> any disciples of Srila Bhakti Siddhan Sarasati Goswami Thakur, even anyhow coming in the line of Narottam Thakur, Shyamananda Prabhu, 
Are any Mantilak maybe some change? No harm. In Samananda Paribar they have some light now? Yes. What that, that thing? Nupur Chinna. No harm. So we should go internally to see who is devotee and we should try to find that. So those who are not uh, serving that class of Vaishnava, but they go to Vishayis and reach persons and beg that. Yes, uh, uh, give me one, one dollar, dollar, two dollar, ten dollar, uh, you should be hmm? not doing this. There are others go, living mud center, preaching center, and they will go to each person's wealth, they will take so delicious force and all other things. So they are duplicitous. They will, in India I have seen that there are so many devotees, without order of any much commander, they take a family which is richer, rich family, and they take them into this parikrama. And serving so much, not serving like Guru, more than Guru. They have never serving Guru Dev, any Vaishnava, but they will serve them so well, day and night. Oh, what is Yuruka? What is the problem? May I bring water? May I do this? All. So, we should not be like that. We have some honor, more honor, love and affection and service to pure devotee. Our Shakta say, Adik artha adik me best arhana. What we need for our Guru Seva, Vaishnava Seva, Thakur Seva, Center Seva, Preaching Center Seva. Not we should be engaged ourselves in always making money. What we need for the service of Guru Dev, we can do. But don't always engage yourself in making money. Then your pocket will be so heavy, heavy and a churkahat will come. Itching. Itching will come. How to expand? How to expand? How to expand? Very big problem. So don't do like that. Whether grihastha or not grihastha. Grihastha not should not engage that, oh, I should be crore pati. And after that, after that, after that, after that, and one day he will die with nothing, zero in hand. So don't engage yourself. What we need for Guru Seva, Vaishnava Seva, Thakur Seva, we should try to do, but not more than that. Nirartha ko aur anitya dhandho mein agraha rakhna. Nirartha, but Yulyas and anitya. Temporary. Dhantho me agra to be in all. Emphasize on the activities which are useless and temporary. What? Futile and temporary. Get it to his father. Oh. Oh, you should go to your mother. Ajar Kip, sit, 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 or anitya dhandho mein agra rakhna. Having great enthusiasm for futile temporary enterprises. Don't be. You should engage chanting, but in lower stages, beginners, always should, they should engage in association of good qualified and hearing more. First hearing, then kirtan. Not kirtan first, then hearing. Shravanam, then kirtan. If you are qualified and perfect in hearing, then you can ch chant perfect. Otherwise, no. no. So don't engage yourself in these things. Nirvetsh Sadhakon ka besh pana kar, jad 
प्रतिष्ठा संग्रह के लिए प्रयत्न करना
serving all Vaishnavas, listening in, uh, always listening Hari Katha, then why will be a tendency, taking also saffron cloth, why will be tendency to men? Is it improving or decreasing? What is this? What? Is it improving thing? Anyone should? Not. And he will be more inspired, more inspired to give his all time like Gautu Shodas Babaji Maharaj, Haritas Thakur, Rupa Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, always following his Guru there. Why he will do this thing? And those who are family person, they will hear all these things, they should improve more. After 50, 60, they can be renounced, no harm. Or after 50, again, new marriage, the giving up his chest wife and new one, brand new, and they want to marry again. This is not developing of bhakti. That should be detached from worldly things. That should be attached with bhakti suddha. First that these renounced persons have false ego that I am very high class of Vaishnava. And they neglect others, also family men they neglect, like Lomharshan Sutta. Huh? You know Lomharshan Sutta? He was, they gave him, he used to give classes. And lacks and lacks audience. audience. All the rishis and maharshi. In them it might be, might be that they were more renounced, more bhakta, more qualified, knowing more established truth, but he neglected, used to neglect. Oh, because I am on this seat, so I am more than anyone. If I am renounced, then all are like bogus. I am only qualified. We should not. Any brahmachari taking saffron cloth, arsanya, they should be more and more dini, more humble than anyone. Those will be advanced in bhakti. They should be more and more humble than anyone. It may be this, that Kanishta Vaishnava may be so much humble. But knowing all these things, why he should not be humble? Shimara, Shimati Radhika, herself. Yeah, what top most in everything, but he wants to be what a deer, a grass where the devotees are walking, Krishna is walking. <coughs> he wants to be clouds sometimes, sometimes a river, sometimes cows to hear the some sweet sound of Krishna. They want to be, have a birth of Pulindi Manin, hilly tribes. <laughs> oh, this is humbleness. So we should be humble like this. If anyone is not even initiated, he taking drugs or taking meats also. But chanting name, I will give more honor to that person than any high class of Mayavadi. Satkarmi. Satkarmi means? Just following Varnashram. Varnashram. Quickly they will give up all these things. They will be very qualified devotees. But they will never. Then, taking renounce, order this, and with false ego, they think that all sadhaks, all devotees, are bogus. I am only so much qualified. They also collect so much uh, 
preparations and uh, clothes, watches, uh, golden glasses, glass will be that, not golden, but frame will be golden. <laughs> and car not then 50 lakhs, not less than. All kinds of facilities should be there. One car will be mainly to walk, second car will be going to temple, third car will be going to store or anything. <laughs> Four, five cars should be. One car for his wife, one car for his son, one car for all, all others. <coughs> and though he is, uh, what? Sannyasi. So Sannyasi should collect very little thing what he needs, not so much. To associate with women on the pretext of sadhana. What is the meaning? Explain. Means that on the on the pretext of speaking Harikata, one is um, associating with ladies with the spirit of enjoyment. And what becomes after? Telling Harikatha, Harikatha, and then marrying with her. <laughs> Not marrying. Oh, so many examples are there. Or oh, telling, I didn't tell you Katha. What Katha? Sweet Katha of Krishna past times. With gopis, how alone he was doing any here Kunja. Do you want to work Kunja? Broom? Oh. Telling all these katha, sweet katha. Then he will at once go to hell. Both will go. So, this is now, why the, um, this is going on? I think. And only to this reason, so many devotees are falling down. We should be very careful. Whether we are uh, Grihastha, Atyagi, or Brahmachari, or Sanyasi. Very carefully in this thing. So, anyhow, where in Srimad Bhagavat it has been told, don't meet your mother alone when you are matured. Hmm? When you are becoming like 16 years old, never meet with your, uh, your mother, sister, Huh? Daughter, daughter and anyone and don't make love, joke with them. Be having so much regard, taking their food dust of your mother. If your sister is elder, like your elder, uh, like mother, and younger, like your daughter, try to honor them. And don't talk in alone. Never, never. No. But if any critical times comes, that is exception. But with this mood. Otherwise, he will go down. Hari Mandir ko chhod kar ke dhan adi ki lalsa se vishay logon ke sami poopna baitna. Uh, to keep close contact with materialistic people with the intention of collecting funds and donations instead of going to the temple. Yes. Swamiji has written anywhere I read and notice for them that all the devotees should join morning class and evening class. I said, why he did? Can you tell? Why? This circulation was made? He saw that animal not coming in morning class, not in evening class. Some are coming, some are not coming. So he has to make a regulation, make a regulation. If all are coming, why to make any regulations? For 
common person it has been done rules and regulation those who are uh, don't want to follow for them and those who are following no regulation in ved upanishad shastra bhagavat anything those who have taste in chanting name <coughs> taste in doing servition taste in hari katha is there anything rule if they are following themselves all these things no rule <coughs> दोस्त हो गए बराबर के प्रति सम्मान अधिक देते हैं और विधि पालन के प्रति अधिक आग्रह के द्वारा कृष्ण रति को छीन करते हैं। What? To enfeeble one's attachment for Krishna by attributing importance and respect merely to the external dress and symbols of the renounced order, and by being overly attached to the rules and regulations of renunciation. पंडित जी बोलो। जो? पाठितो। ट What I he told you also. Um, we were attached the external, um, the external um, dress and symbols of renunciation into the actual meaning of what is real renunciation is in the life. Meaning mm. exactly the Christian Christian. And? Vithi Palan Kedatthi. And the rules of regulation. Not going deep. <coughs> Anyone has taken sannyas, <coughs> and that thing that I must honor only those who are sannyasi, whether they are fallen, and those who are doing vidhi, vidhi, vidhi <coughs> rule self regulation, not going in, in internally and feeling deep. What is the meaning of this? Only. They will try to follow outwardly the instructions of their guru dev, but they don't want to go deep so. So these are duplicates. We should not be like this. From beginning, we should try to obey. We should try to know the main object and aim, aim and object of guru ka. Swami Ji, my Guru Dev and Father, and try to catch that mood. What that mood is? Braj Bhakti, only nothing else. Only Braj Bhakti is that mood. They have come to this world, wanting to sprinkle this, not by the bhakti, not anything, not sannyas or nothing. Sannyas is a nishtha only. Nishtha means. I am renounced now. I should be uh, go to towards sense gratification, not to um, what mixing with the ladies. Our ladies should mix with gents. Gents. So we should try to go very deep. Why we have been initiated? What is initiation? What is the purpose? Of? What are the months? <coughs> How we should do all months? How we should do follow all these things? So they have come only to give love and affection, bridge of bridge mood to all. Not only all these. Kirtan. Not only doing kirtan here and there. This is not object. By kirtan, you should be also. Perfect in kirtan, and then to preach. Otherwise, if you are doing kirtan uh, from one gali to gali, yeah, streets, streets, and someone will give you money, some, and you will keep it in pocket. Other will do anything, give, and you will keep in pocket. And thus, always, oh, he is very good person. 
only for this. And after some days, you will quickly give up all these things and go to hell or anywhere else. Those who are doing only they like outward, uh, outwardly, artificially all these things. Very little effect will be there. So we should try to know all these things and to be careful for all these things. Go, Pranam. If I have told any harsh word, or anything pinching to anyone, <laughs> I should be excused. <laughs> I want, I also want to be humble like you, sitting like you, and very humble. When Sadhu Bhajya is doing operation, then sometimes some cutting is necessary. <laughs> but I am not so much qualified. I am among you. You can think me like your elder brother, your friend, a very low class of shadow. <laughs> Very soon, very soon. Who is she? She is uh, your disciple. Ah? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. oh, she's very good. When you came, just now, very good. I'm happy to be here. I was thinking that you may come.